talking something about them gaining 500 yards or so, and my first thought is, so you mean they're a couple of steps behind what you guys have done the last couple of games? It's you, you guys, the last couple of games, more than 600 yards, which to me seems like just an awesome amount of yards. During the last two games, at the end of the game, when Greg gives you the stat sheet and you finally get a chance to see exactly how many yards you gained, were you surprised to see a number that high, or did it feel like, yeah, boy, this when I get that stat sheet, it's going to say more than 600? Well, I mean, you, you don't really keep up in the game. You're caught in the game, and you're uh, you know, wanting to make plays and put you guys in the right situation and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I guess waiting for that game to where we play like we did, uh, you know, uh, is sometimes, you know, that first half offensively and maybe the first half defensively in, in the Chattanooga game. You know, this team is, is very capable of that, and, and I don't think we'll ever – you know, plateau where we're satisfied with how we play. You know, we, we won a game and, uh, you know, won it pretty handily the other night. But, I mean, I, I think this team, you, you want to chase perfection. And we're not by no means, you know, hit the ceiling of how good we can play. So, you know, we want to put that game together and, and play like that every week in all three phases of the game. Uh, I think one of the, one of the phases that, that we miss sometimes is special teams. Our special teams the last two weeks has really made steps forward and gotten better, you know, to where I felt like it. I mean, we're going into the game, special teams wise, hey, let's don't do anything here to get ourselves beat. You know, and, and now we're looking for ways to win games and help our, help ourselves win in the special teams. And I think you've seen that in all, all phases of special teams the other night. The kickoff return uh, was solid the whole game, now, not just on the one return. We got good field position on, on all of those. Uh, our punt team, Hamish, did a great job of punting the football. You know, the night Connor Rulo continues to play steadily and kicking field goals and PATs, and our kickoff team played the best they played as of yet. So they did an excellent job the other night there. And uh, yeah, I just think uh, we're just looking to play a complete game and, and get to where we do that every Saturday. And, and uh, like I said, just, you know, peaking at the right time and, and putting that all together. But uh, we got to improve this week. And I think our maturity, our football team, is getting close to where we want it to be. Our, our guys are coming in uh, at the first of the week. Uh, you know, they're not worried about who we play. They're worried about how we play and, and correcting the things when we come out of Saturday's game and looking to get better, you know, every day. And, and that's easy. I think every program in the country sits here and talks about doing that. Uh, I think the teams that win championships and make runs at it uh, are teams that are able to do that day in, day out, truly do that and, and not hit a plateau. So. You know, hopefully our team will continue showing the maturity that they've had and will continue doing that and chasing that perfect game and getting better and working on us. You know, we, we still got a lot to work out ourselves in, in getting better. But I, I think uh, we don't want to be satisfied with 600. We'd rather have 800, you know, <laughs> at, at the end of the game. We, we take the uh, philosophy, I think, as Eli, offensively, we are, we are really mad if we have to punt the football. You know, we, we do not like to punt the football. And uh, we want to keep the football in our possession and keep our defense off the field, and, and uh, we just, you know, we, we're upset when we got a punt in, and usually look back at it, it's on us. You know, if, if we just don't make plays, the plays are usually there, and we don't make them if we have to punt the football. Uh, last thing for me, for all three players, you guys have a home game this week. Uh, what's your favorite part of a home game weekend? Is there one thing that, that stands out that just you, you enjoy particularly either on or off the field about having a home game on the weekend. Eli, maybe we can start with you. Well, probably just being able to play in front of like all our fans. You know, on the road, you, you get a handful of fans here and there, but like at home, it's nothing like playing at home. You have all your fans behind you, just just cheering you on. You you want to play hard for them. So I think that's like my favorite part of playing at home. My favorite part of playing at home is hands down the atmosphere. It's, it's the best atmosphere in the OBC, in my opinion. Our fans do a great job of that. And it's always fun playing for them and having them behind us. And the Southerners are awesome every week playing for us. They're loud and they just keep the game interesting. I think I would have to say the same thing. It would be the fans, you know, coming out and being able to play in front of your home crowd and some of your family being able to come to the games and see you play. So it just um, it has your level of play go up more, and you feel like you you got to perform in front of them and give them a show. And the band also does a great job. You know, they they play loud, very loud for us. And so hearing them, I 
also puts a smile on your face. Where are you from? I'm sorry, I don't know where you're from. I'm from Memphisville, Alabama. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah. sir. So definitely family can come up and watch you play. Yes, that's sir. good. Yeah. No doubt. You, you play on the road. I mean, I think UTC being an exception. You know, we had a great crowd at UTC. But, uh, you know, most time you play on the road, especially you play like at Murray. You know, you, you turn around, it's crickets. I mean, there, there's, nothing, there's, there's, there's nothing back there. There's a track and a fence way back there. So, I mean, there's nothing, you ain't got the Southerners jamming out, and you ain't got our atmosphere and stuff like that. So, you're you're definitely on your own. I mean, I've turned around and said, hey, sidelines, we've got to pick it up here. We've got to make some noise, you know, because uh, it, it is quiet. But it's great to get back home and play, for sure. So, that having the stands all on one side, that's, that's, a, that's a different deal. That is a different deal, for sure. We would just yeah maybe talk about the three players. I know you introduced them, but just talk a little bit. Okay, about uh, you know, like I said, Eli just brings a lot to the table. I mean, he is he is a talented guy, you know, and who is just doing a great job running the show for us right now offensively and decision making and making plays with his arm as well as his legs and you know not many guys out there can rush for close to 150 and you know throw for almost 200. You know, and uh, like I said, it makes us hard to defend. I mean, we, we like to have a, a dual threat guy back there, and it's, it's almost like you, you play him with 12, you know, so it, it makes it very good. But it, to watch his progression and see his talent level from the first spring that we got here and, and know what kind of talent he was to, to really becoming a quarterback. I mean, it's, uh, you know, he, he has really just become a poised quarterback, you know, does a good job and, uh, you know, and, and all, just taking care of the football and, and making the right reads. I mean, even when we run the football, just about every run we have, you know, it ha has an option to read to it. So he is reading something. So it's, it all, it's all about decision making. You know, he, he's got to give it when he's supposed to give it and, you know, pull it when he's supposed to pull it. And he's doing a good job of doing that right now in a run game. And that just makes it, it pretty easy for our running backs. And, and another thing I know he would say, just offensively, our offensive line right now is probably playing as well as it's ever played. And, and they are doing a great job of, of being very, very physical up front. In, in the past, sometimes we, we've not been the most physical up front, uh, and, and we're just getting to where we're a lot more physical up front, controlling the line of scrimmage, and, and hopefully that progression will continue. But, uh, you know, like I said, it's, it's been a fun process to watch Eli get to the point to where he's at right now, and we're not tired of, you know, watching him continue to improve because I think he'd tell you himself, you know, he can play a lot better. You know, he can play a lot better than what he played the other night. So uh, he's just got to continue that and, and, and just making plays for us. And it makes us a dangerous offense when you throw the ball vertically. You can stretch the field horizontally, and, and then you got a dual threat guy back there doing that. It makes it makes it tough to defend. Uh, so I think uh, he just got to continue to get better, and, and uh, just a great play. Um, you know, Ben, uh, I, make fun, I make fun of him and Dean all the time, but they, they've been here since Moby Dick was a man, right? So uh, <laughs> they've been, been here a while, and he's been in every shape, form, fashion. You know, of, of you know, he's been a special teams guy, he's been a starter, he's been, you know, just uh, in senior year, it's just it's fun to watch, you know, a guy that means as much to you program as Ben Endress does, having the type of senior year he's having, you know, uh, character guy. You know, on and off field represents us in every way that you want to be represented, and I think all three of these guys do that. But when you got one that's a senior, and, and you know, you just proud of that. You know, I mean, I, I think our staff's proud of that. I know our folks are, our fans are. His mom and daddy are. You know, he's just done a great job. Had a great career here, and and we, uh, he, he's 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 doing what he's supposed to do to make the most of the senior year. But uh, Ben's just having a fantastic year right now, and we look for that to continue. He's a guy that's going to play whether he's hurt, injured, whatever. I mean, sometimes I tell him, Bionic man, he comes there, he's taped up, he's got a brace on his shoulder, he's got an ankle brace on, and his ankle's taped and all that. I don't know if that's a sign of age or what is that? I, wear and tear of the game, man? I don't know what that is. But anyway, he just um, he kills him to miss practice. Like if, uh, if Chris and him hold him in the training room, he is literally upset that he's in a green jersey or orange jersey or whatever. He, he, want, he wants to practice. and. One of the guys that just has a lot of fun practicing, and uh, that, that's that's a good thing. You know, Anthony is a young guy as well. You know, he is uh, he's uh, made a lot of plays for us last year as a true freshman, and uh, you know, just because of necessity, we like to redshirt our guys. He had to come in and play off the bat. Had a really good freshman year. Um, 
you know, having a good year this year so far. He's been a little hampered with, with some injuries early in camp and things like that. Uh, but continues to work very, very hard every day. And uh, one thing you got to worry about, Anthony, he, he is going to give you all he's got on every play. Uh, he, that's the reason why he played a lot last year as a true freshman. It's just hard to keep him off the field because he's such an effort guy, uh, very, very talented guy. You know, he, I think I need to put a brick on his head. He keeps getting taller every time I see him. He, just, he <laughs> continues to grow. But uh, another guy that just does a good job of representing is what he want to be represented on and off the field and, and uh, just doing a good job and look for good things for him down, down, the, down the year. And uh, when the ball comes his way, he's able to make plays.